Good morning, friends, and happy Monday. I have my heating pad here and my phone cord that's plugged in back here so it like sticks through everything. But anyway, um, hi, happy Monday. Oh my goodness, I hope you guys had a great weekend. I know that, I mean, it was just a great weekend here at home pretty much. We did go out to dinner Saturday night with our friends. Um, we went to sushi, but I didn't film anything because again, it's kind of like I've said before, it's like I want to just enjoy the time that we have, you know, together with our friends and not be so like, hey, let me vlog your food. So hold on a second, my battery's about ready to die. Alrighty, full charge, yay. So anyway, so um, like I was saying, I just don't wanna like vlog when we're around people who just don't like vlog, you know, or in whatever. Um, he, not so much, uh, but her, she doesn't really care for like being on camera or whatever. Not that I would've put her on camera, but I just wanna be respectful of our friends and stuff and then just kind of enjoy the time with our friends and uh, and uh, not vlog, but we did go to sushi, it was nice, and then Brian and I, before we went to sushi though, which I could have vlogged this, but I just didn't even like think about it, I don't know why. Again, just kind of enjoying the time that Brian and I were spending together. He and I went into Five Below, uh, because he was looking for one of those like 10 foot phone cords, phone chargers, and um, we had went around Christmas time here and Christmas time in Illinois, and we never found it. I did get mine, that's what's right here, because we we have it plugged in back here and then it reaches clear around on the other side of the couch where where I sit um, when Brian's home because um, he sits like right here in this spot and then I sit like right here in this spot so um, and sometimes I sit over there in the corner and just stretch out which is nice but anyway um, he had been wanting to get a cord and they didn't have any so we finally got him his cord it's right here so that's also plugged in back there so now we both have our 10 foot cords and we're both fine and set which is great um and you can get these at five below and brian's like well how much are they and i'm like bry they're five dollars it's five below he's like oh yeah <laughs> so anyway um so that's what we did and then um because we still had some time to waste we just kind of walked around pier one and uh just looked in there for a little bit and then went down to have a sushi with our friends and then we came back home and vegged out oh i take that back we went to dairy queen <laughs> we went to hobby lobby gosh i forgot about that too we went to hobby lobby after dinner and then I picked up some more beads because I've been wanting to just get some more beads so I could sit down and do that um, video for you guys, the house beads video. So I'm gonna do that this week, I promise. I've been wait I just wanted to get more beads. I had went in there and they didn't have any beads. And then when we went in there the other night, they had beads. So I picked up some beads. And then after that, we went to Dairy Queen. <laughs> so, and then we came home and relaxed. Um, but then yesterday, um, I went to Target for a minute and shopped, which that video is up here. I'll go ahead and link it up here or over here, over here, whichever where. Um, I'll link it up there if you guys missed it, just, you know, shopping at Target, um, which was also included in the weekend vlog, which was nice. And then um, we just sat at home all day and just vegged out and relaxed and then just kind of planned our week. Um, uh, and planned out, you know, dinner is what we're going to make this week for dinner. And then Sunday, which is Easter. So, like, this is, like, Easter week, the beginning of Easter week. Um, Brian has off on Friday, or he'll have a half a day Friday, or he'll have off on Friday. I'm not really sure. Um, probably won't be doing anything. Um, <clears throat> we are going to be leaving, though, Sunday morning for my mom's house, which they live in Tennessee. We're going to be spending um, the day with them um, and having dinner and stuff, Easter dinner at my mom and dad's house, and then staying the night there. And then Brian has um, business a whole week of business in Huntsville, Alabama. So we are gonna be in Huntsville all next week, uh, Monday through Thursday, we're gonna be in Huntsville. Um, and he's gonna be doing work and I'm gonna be doing work um, because I plan on going to the Botanical Gardens, I plan on going to the Space and Rocket Center, um, I'm hoping to hang out with my mom a little bit and then, um, and then you know, hanging out in Huntsville for a little bit. So that's kind of like my plan of what I plan on doing while I'm there. Uh, and I'm not exactly sure how like uploading is gonna be. It depends on the Wi-Fi at the hotel because sometimes Wi-Fi's are slow. It's annoying, but I'll definitely keep you guys um, updated on what's going on. Um, so make sure you guys are following me on my Instagram, which is Angie in 
in, not I in, but the letter in Wonderland. And then follow me on Twitter, follow me on my Facebook page, Angie in, I in Wonderland. And then my Twitter is at Angie underscore Kato. So you guys can find me there. So <clears throat> with that being said, this is Monday morning. I was gonna go tanning. But my back is a little like red, um, which I didn't mean to do that the other day. Uh, so I'm gonna like, I skipped obviously Saturday and Sunday, which I'll always skip the weekends. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and skip today, but then I'll go tomorrow because my back should be a little bit better by tomorrow. I was just gonna lay on a towel anyway, but um, I just, I was gonna get some stuff done around here, which I've already gotten some stuff done. I've already thrown a load of laundry in, which was the blanket that sits right here, which is Brian's blanket. I've got mine on right now. Um, so I threw his in the washing machine after his. This this will go in the washing machine. Um, I've already made up the bed, which I need to strip the sheets, which I'm gonna do um, probably tomorrow morning. I'll just strip the sheets off of there. Uh, and then I'll start getting some stuff ready for our trip next week, just checking our bags again, making sure everything is up to date from our trip to Gatlinburg. Uh, so I gotta check all that this week, start packing, thinking of outfits to wear, all that good stuff. I know Brian has, I have to pick up his shirts at the dry cleaners because I know he has to wear his work shirts next week. I have to get his pants dry cleaned. It's going to be a busy week, so stick around <laughs> for the rest of the week, and uh, you'll see, Try I'll try to knock all this stuff off my list for the next week, and you guys will be right along with me doing it all. So I'm going to sit here for just a few minutes, and I'm watching Footloose, the one from 1984. I had a birthday party. Um, I was probably 11, yes, I was 11 in 1984. So I had a birthday party, a sleepover, and this is the movie that I wanted to rent. Um, so we rented it and popped it in the VHS VCR, and um, this is what we watched. It was um, awesome. I just I remember that having a birthday party, and, and this was the movie that we watched. So kind of fun, I remember, but I always love this movie. Who doesn't love Footloose, right? Um, Kevin Bacon, come on. But um, love this movie. So thumbs up if you liked Footloose. And how old were you in 1984 when Footloose came out? I want to know. I was 11. And it was like obviously the hot movie at the time. But anyway, so um, I'm going to get myself together and get started on my day. I gotta go clean the kitchen here in a little bit, just from a little bit of things that we did last night. Um, and then I'm gonna take the dishes out of the dishwasher, pop those in there, and then just kind of, just kind of clean up a little bit. Might paint the other side of my cabinets now. Well, just this, finish these two doors over here. I need to paint those again. I just haven't done that yet. <laughs> um, so much on my list to do. Um, but that's it. So hang out with me today and the rest of the week, and then, uh, it'll be Easter. So see you guys. Bye. Alrighty guys, so oh, I did my hair, did my makeup, I just had some lunch, it's all good. I wanted to show you guys these new canisters that I got the other day at Hobby Lobby. Um, these are so cute. I, do, I didn't get rid of my old canisters because those, um, I bought at Pier 1 about seven years ago, right before we moved here. Um, but I have them in my pantry just holding like extra flour, extra sugar, all that good stuff. But these ones, these ones are super duper cute, um, and they were on sale. I think this one was $19.99 with 50% off, and this one was uh, $12.99 or something like that with 15% off, but I love them. I only got the flour and the sugar. I didn't need the coffee one because we usually just keep the coffee stuff like sitting over here in this area. Brian has his uh, coffee up in there so whenever he needs it he just grabs it and then he just you know grinds his coffee up right here and then coffee um but i also wanted to show you guys what else i got um i ordered this uh cute little um boxwood wreath um from amazon i'll leave a link below you guys can go get it it was on sale so I wanted to grab one of these. They're so cute. I just love the way I've seen them like on um, Instagram and stuff and people kind of like put them around their small candles. So that's kind of what I did here. I just have it under, on my counter in the kitchen. Um, this is the Mrs. Myers. Um, let me see which sense is this one is lavender. Not a fan of the lavender. I prefer the lemon verbena one so far of all of the um, Mrs. Myers cleaning products that I have. Um, I did place an order today. See, I have them all sitting here. 
I love this little area here. Um, I did place an order today for some more. Um, I ordered the peony and then I ordered a couple of other things as well. Um, but anyway, so yeah, that's my little area over there. Um, and I love that. It just It's just so pretty. I like it. And then um, I also wanted to show you guys, I ordered this tin. This is a tin that I got from amazon as well and i'll leave a link to that below because uh, you guys can go get this tin um, and it just works so perfectly in here in the kitchen for like my little designs that i use or my little um what are these little things holiday decor setups or whatever i love these these are so much fun um and so cute um, i haven't added anything to this at all this is the way that it's been sitting since i put it together this spring but what i was going to say was i have another one of these coming um but not like this the other one that i have coming is square and it's like this one's bigger on the bottom and this one's smaller on the top and it's going to go in our bathroom to put all of our like my hairspray on deodorant all that good stuff because i'm trying to switch up the bathroom now too um so yes that's what i've been doing and then yesterday it's so cute when i was at target um i noticed that they had these cute little like bunny um tail toss it's for games it's like for a game but they're like just bunny tails and i just thought how cute they would be for bunny tails you could put them like in a clear jar or whatever but you could also use them for snowballs so i thought that's cute so i can use these for cotton tails in a jar or for snowballs in the winter time how cute is that um anyway yeah so that's about it i'm trying to think of something else oh i wanted to share with you guys something else and i can't remember what it was that you guys can go on amazon oh my little bread thing um i have all the links to these below but this bread um little container here oops sorry I just put the lid down. Um, this little bread um, box here is so cute. It's just a tin bread box. It is super cute. I absolutely love it. If it gets yucky, I just kind of wipe it down, which it does get yucky from time to time, but absolutely love it. And uh, Brian likes it too because it's just, it's like old school. It's so cute. It just sits here on the counter. It's perfect. But I have a link to this below as well if you guys are interested in that. And these... One more thing too, these little um, uh, little tin jars that has sugar, um, tea, and then the one that has coffee again, is um, right there. So you guys can um, go grab that if you are interested in any of these because these are linked in the description box below as well. All the stuff came, um, I ordered from Amazon. Alrighty guys, so that's it for today's vlog. I hope that you guys just enjoyed hanging out with me a little bit today. I wanted to share one more thing with you guys. The other morning I woke up and I had to get into my closet where I store all of my like Christmas decor, Halloween decor, Easter decor, all that good stuff. I had to go in the closet to get something. I don't remember exactly what it was that I was going to get, um, but I couldn't open the door. Some of my stuff had fallen and some of my stuff broke. Oh, I was very upset about that. But um, this was one of them that broke. My little teapot that I usually put flowers and stuff in. Um, and it was shattered. Just the handle was shattered. Um, as you guys can see, like over here in some of the parts, there's chipped parts here. Um, the handle's cracked right there. Um, handle's cracked right down here. All this. This whole like thing cracked. Well, Brian has obviously some super glue and he glued it all back together. So basically all I would really need to do is put some red right here, maybe some brown on the sides right here, um, and then obviously some red right there just to kind of cover that up. But basically he saved my pot, which was nice because I think I got this at Kirkland's like last year for like 10 bucks or something. Um, but anyway... I use it for red stuff. Like when Valentine's was around, I used it. Christmas time is around, 4th of July coming up. Um, I use it and I just kind of put flowers and stuff in it, but I'm just kind of glad that he fixed it because I was very upset that it broke. I was like, oh no. But um, and one of my totes fell in there as well and shattered the whole bottom of the tote, well, side of the tote because of the way that it fell. And I'm not sure exactly what what broke inside of there i'm very scared to find out i'm very very scared to know because oh i don't want any of my stuff to be broken but 
anyway that's it <laughs> that is it but i'm gonna go for today that was it for the vlog for today like i said i hope that you guys just enjoyed hanging out with me a little bit um again i didn't go anywhere nothing exciting going on i'm kind of caught up on all my stuff i may have to do one like load of laundry or something um within the next couple of days but other than that you know nothing exciting going on around here i dusted the other day that's it but anyway thank you guys so much sorry that it was boring but thanks for hanging out with me anyway totally appreciate it if you guys enjoyed this give it a huge thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and i will see you guys eh, maybe tomorrow maybe wednesday um i did finish my bead video though so that'll be up this week sometime or i think saturday i don't know we'll figure it out but anyway bye gotta go see ya